Welcome to Monkey Jungle. We do hope you enjoy our new exhibit. For the next few minutes, we'll show you some of the jobs that our keepers do here at Bristol Zoo. One of the first jobs of the day is cleaning the animals' enclosures. Here you can see the gorilla enclosure being cleaned. We don't use disinfectant all the time because smells are important to animals and can define their territory. All of the waste is removed and the floors, walls and windows are washed. Of course, one of the most important jobs is preparing food. All of the primates here at the zoo have very different tastes and some need very special diets. The food for all of the animals here in the zoo is prepared here in the food prep area. It takes several staff a few hours each day to prepare all the diets and then deliver them to the keepers around the zoo. As you can see here, we use lots of different foods, from grapes to apples and parsley to carrots. They are all used for our animals. Each species in the zoo has a diet sheet, but it is important to vary from time to time, so they don't get bored with the same food. There are also a range of pellets that are specially produced for zoo animals. Here you can see a keeper mixing some of them in with maize and other seeds. We keep our animals in an environment that is as natural as possible. After cleaning the squirrel monkeys, they get their food outside on different platforms. Some animals get their food hung up or hidden from them. The okapi get hay in a net and they have it hung up so they really have to pull at it to get it out. Insects are an important part of some of our smaller monkey diets. And to make them work for it, we sometimes put insects in feeding boxes and hang them up. The animals spend ages foraging in the feeding boxes for the insects. Keepers are very knowledgeable and share their enthusiasm for wildlife with visitors by giving talks every day. The gorilla talk is very popular and whilst the animals are being fed by one keeper, another gives the talk. We also share everything we learn about our animals with other zoos and conservation organisations. The keepers know the animals they work with very well and if they have any concerns about an individual's health, vets can look back through the keepers' diaries. 
At the end of the day, the keepers report back to senior staff and the day's events are recorded on computer and sent to the vets and curators. We like to tell our visitors about our gorillas, gorillas in the wild, and most importantly, what Bristol Zoo Gardens is doing to help species and what visitors can do to help.